Let's get started. First, make sure you have Add Mesh Extra Objects turned on. Click on Edit Preferences and search for Extra Objects under the Add-ons tab. Now you can press Shift A to add a single vert. Let's move this up and press E to start extruding. Let's extrude the other side as well. Press Tab to go into Object Mode and press Ctrl-1 to add a subdivision modifier. Let's apply this modifier by pressing Ctrl-A while hovering over the modifier. Go into Edit Mode, press A to select All, and extrude in the Y axis. Select All again, press Alt-E and choose Extrude Faces along Normals. Press Alt-Z for X-Ray Mode. Let's move the vertices to fit the shape. I have the reference image set up here, but for a simple object like this you can just shape it any way you want. Be creative and make yours unique. I'm going to add loop cuts on both sides for better shape. Right click and shade smooth, turn on auto smooth under object data properties, and add a bevel modifier. I'm gonna change miter out to arc, clamp overlap off, and increase bevel amount to about 0.037. Press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier. I'm checking and unchecking hardened normals to see which will look better for shading. I'll just uncheck it and add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl R. That looks better. Now let's go into edit mode. Press 3 for face select. Click on first, and control click on the last face to select in between. Shift D to duplicate, then press P, choose selection to separate the duplicated object. Press tab to select copied object, go into edit mode, and select these two edges, then E to extrude in the Z axis. Control E and click on bridge edge loops to close. Let's move the vertices to fit the shape. I'm holding control key while moving to snap to grid. Alt click to select the edge loop. Shift alt click to select the edge loop on the other side. Press F to fill. Now let's get rid of these faces.
Let's increase the bevel amount and check hard and normals for this one. Press S to scale the roof in the Y axis. By the way, I'm using Lazy View Port Add-in for those of you wondering how the gizmo appears for scale, move, rotate when using SG or shortcuts. Shift A to add a cylinder, rotate, scale and move it into position. Shade Smooth and check Auto Smooth. Click on the cylinder first, then the birdhouse, press Ctrl minus on the numpad. Make sure you have Bool Tool Add-in enabled. Ctrl A to apply the Bool modifier. Go into Edit Mode, select the circle and extrude in the Y axis. Shift right click to move the cursor and Shift A to add a single vert again. Extrude a few times. Control 1 for subdivision, apply it, then turn it into a curve. I've added Convert to Curve to the Quick Favorites. This way, I can just press Q and select it. Turn up the bevel depth and shade smooth, check fill caps. Looks like we're done. What you see for the final render is exactly the same model we've built together. Just added a plane and worked on materials and lights. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.